Hi, it's Morag Gamble from Our Permaculture Life and the Permaculture Education Institute and welcome back for my Live at Five in my permaculture garden. So today I'm standing here with my pawpaw tree. We call it pawpaw in Australia, but um, in other parts of the world um, that's a bit confusing. So maybe I should call it a papaya. Now this particular papaya is actually one of the male papayas that's in my food forest area here. So this one is not actually going to produce any fruit, so to speak. What? And you can tell that it's a, a male one because it's got these long pendulous flowers coming out of the stalk. The female ones, the flowers are right on the stalk and that's where the fruit forms. Now sometimes you don't need to have um, the male um, papaya but it actually does help um, if you've got one to at least ten female plants to really help with getting more um, papaya production. So I always leave at least one in the garden. But you know apart from it actually just fertilizing the other trees you can eat the leaves of a papaya. Now this is something that's not often really um, talked about or seen much here in Australia but in many parts of Southeast Asia this is kind of a standard green. So I wonder do you have a papaya in your backyard and you know maybe it hasn't got any fruit on at the moment or maybe you know there's fruit on one of them and not on the other and maybe there's some way that you can look at it and think oh, okay I can find some leaves on that plant. Maybe some of the, the, young, the young ones or the medium ones that are really great. So all you need to do is just harvest it and, and boil it up and uh, that takes away the bitterness and then you can use it as you, as you would a, a spinach in any any other type of spinach in your cooking, um, so from from uh, you know sauces or curries or soups or stir fries or whatever it is that you'd like to add that kind of leafy green into. So I thought I'd share that with you because a lot of gardens have papaya trees, and uh, it's another source of food that you may well not have have thought about before. So if you do have some recipes for how to how to use papaya leaf interestingly i'd love i'd love it if you'd add it down below because you know it's something that is not really commonly known like i said before so that would be great if you could share some of those um so i'm not going to talk so much about it today maybe another day but you know like actually how to use the fruit both as green and ripe fruit and also how you can ferment it and use the seeds so the seeds the fruit and the leaves of a papaya are all edible so I hope you'll give it a try. It's really delicious. All right, I'll catch you next time. Join me live at five again tomorrow for another plant to really look at how we can extend the abundance of the things that we've already got growing or things that we know of in and around our neighborhood. Uh, and also check out the links that I've got below too about um, ways that you can get your garden thriving and also what is permaculture and how you can weave it into your life and your livelihood too. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye. Yeah.